to Slow Living. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basic long sleeve top. Here in Melbourne, we're coming out of winter and going into summer, but we're in that really in-between sort of season where some days are really cold and some days are a bit warmer. So I think a long sleeve top is really perfect for that. Um, I'm going to be making mine out of 100% merino jersey, which I picked up ages ago and just never used. Um, it is quite sheer, but I'm going to be doing it double layered, but because it's a natural fiber, it will still breathe really nicely. But of course, if you've got a different fabric, you can just do it single layered um, and it won't make much of a difference. Merino is an amazing fiber. A lot of people know that it will keep you really warm, but not many people know that it actually keeps you cool as well. So back in the day before synthetics and things like that, sporting jerseys used to be made from wool. Understandably, if you're vegan, you will not use a merino, but you could choose something like an organic cotton or maybe a remnant fabric that you think is sustainable and suits your taste. Now let's get started. So this is the top that I'm going to be cloning. I've worn it to death. It's been very embarrassing, but I wear it underneath everything. So the holes and stuff don't matter. You want the top that you're cloning to be fresh out of the wash so that it's shrunk to its original size. And of course you wanna choose a top that is the fit of the new top that you want. So this one here that I've chosen is a very slim fit, very close to the body. But if you want one that is boxy, of course choose one of your existing tops that is a boxy shape. So to clone any garment, you basically lay it down and then copy the shape of the pieces that make up your garment. It's important to note that this is easier because we're using a stretch jersey fabric. I wouldn't recommend simply trying to do this if your garment that you're trying to copy is not stretchy because it will not turn out the same. Just as importantly, before you cut anything, make sure that you add at least one centimeter around each piece and that's going to act as your seam allowance. So as you can see, when I'm cutting here, I'm cutting at least one centimeter around the outside of my garment. For a basic t-shirt, you should have a front piece, a back piece, and a pair of sleeves. So that's two sleeve pieces. Little hack for the front and back is that you're going to use the exact same piece except for the neckline. So you can lay the front piece down, cut around that, and then as you can see here, just lower the front to be a little bit lower than the back neckline. Okay, I would say this next bit is probably the trickiest bit out of the whole top, and it's not that tricky at all. What we need to do is measure the total neckline, so that includes the front neck and the back neck, in order to get the final measurement for a ribbing piece that will allow us to finish the neckline really nicely. Once you have that measurement, you can just cut a long strip of fabric, that is the measurement that you just got from your neckline, and make the width approximately two inches so that when you fold it in half and attach it to the neckline, the finished ribbing will be just less than an inch. Now the first seam we're going to sew is the shoulder seam. We can also do the binding, so sew that little strip of fabric together so that it's a complete loop, and then we can start to attach it to the neckline. Fold the binding in half and with your garment inside out, place this binding piece inside your neckline. In other words, your garment should be right sides together so that when we finish this neckline, the overlocking or the stitching will be on the inside of the garment because you obviously don't want that to show on the outside. Use pins to secure everything in place so that when you're sewing it, things don't move about and then you'll have a nice even rib all around your neck. Now very importantly when you're sewing this top because we're using a stretch fabric you will need to use either an overlocker, serger or the zigzag stitch otherwise you will just break all of your stitches. Now once the neck is done it's time to put in the sleeve. You can match the middle part of the sleeve with your shoulder seam so that it all lines up really nicely and you can pin it in place before you sew it. Now your top should nearly be complete, but as you can see, we still have one more seam, which is this underarm seam here, which is not yet finished. So just pin it in place. You can start from either the hem or the hem of the sleeve and then finish it all in one go. Now the last thing to do is to finish the hem. You can fold this up two to three centimeters and then use a zigzag stitch to stitch it down, but I don't like to do that because I personally don't like the finish that you get. So I just choose to keep it as a raw edge. Um, because it's jersey, it will not come unraveled or anything like that. And instead, I actually like to pull it apart like this so that the edge of the hem starts to curl and you sort of get a nice little curled feature. Now, if you weren't lazy like me, you would have ironed throughout your sewing process, but I just like to iron it all at the end, depending on the project. So give it a nice press so that all the seams are now flat. And congratulations, you have finished your top. I 
enjoyed this video. It was nice and simple and you can use the same technique to do a short sleeve top or even a tank top. Um, I would love to see how you went. Let me know. You can find me here, of course, and on Instagram at Slow Living and that's slow with an E. Um, hope you're doing well and I will see you again soon. Fiber is an amazing fabrication. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know, it's 14 or 15 degrees here in Melbourne and it's kind of nice to have this mm, irrelevant for like a short sleeve top or even a singlet style. Let me know how you go. I would love to see your projects. Um, I was going to say something else and I have forgotten it.